Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveTestForecast.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Thursday, October the 6th. The time is around uh, 2 a.m. GMT. Now today we are going to look at the DAX. This is uh, uh, German index 45 minutes chart here. We ended this with W at 11862 in the form of an ABC zigzag and now in the process of doing a 3 years rally also in the form of an ABC uh, to finish this with X okay so once that is completed we can continue to go down again and eventually it's gonna break below 11862 again okay so you can see in the shorter cycle here it does look extended here does look like a with three right um, we can see the extension and so that's why I think possible to do one more push higher to finish a five ways up then from there we should be finished with the with a pullback in three waves then rally again now the target from the C uh, will only be measured when we already have the A and the B in place right when we finally see A and B in place then we can measure the C uh, equal to the A all right, so between 100% to 161.8% extension. Now, <clears throat> let's zoom out a little bit to have some ideas uh, what the larger degree view is. Now, if I zoom out, this is the daily time frame, and I'm copying here the W you see on the one hour chart and the X. I'm copying it here on the daily time frame. So let's see on the daily what we can get from it. <coughs> So this is the uh, the high from last year, okay, November 2021. The same high you see all across the market. We make a all-time high in many major indices, all right. From here, we continue to have a lower low, as you can see. Uh, and if you look at the decline here, all right, if you look at the mid sort of the midway of the decline it would have been this one right this is sort of like the midway of the decline from the peak to the low so you can consider this as a one two and now we're doing the third swing to the downside right now if you just simply measure the extension from the peak so this is your first and project it from the second so this is your first and this is your second now we're looking for the third swing now the hundred percent is 11,080 as you can see we have not reached this target level so that's why the bias for now still remains to the downside right to the downside now forget about the one hour now if you only can understand one hour then then you think of this as the projection and so on but I think the more important thing is to understand what really is the right side of the market which is for now still remains lower because of this lower low sequence here without reaching the potential the minimum target 11,000 right also if you take a look at it from this peak which is March right March 29 March 30th 2022 and you can see from there we got one two three four five five swing is a motive sequence it says incomplete sequence and therefore depending on what the structure is now this is wx that means we're actually calling this as a um as a seven swing structure right because if we are not calling seven swing structure we would have called this like a diagonal one two three four five and then ending a here but the fact this is a w that only can mean that this is another wxy in a bigger degree like this now again, your knowledge of Elliott Wave has to be pretty good in order to be able to understand and interpret this, right? So WXY is a seven swing structure like this, ABC, ABC, or ABC, WXY, doesn't matter, right? Uh, it could be WXY, it could be ABC. Now in this case, because it is an impulse here, I think it's better to be ABC so we have a one two three four five uh, and because of the five swing here this becomes your primary connector from March 2022 
and if you mention the extension there you can also find out that we have not reached the ideal 11,415 where the y equal to the w in other words we do have a what we call a bearish sequence from November 2021 we also have a bearish sequence from March 2022 right all of them suggesting for the downside so even if we can rally like this that doesn't mean this is bullish in the near term because the larger degree view remains bearish for now now if things go wrong for example this could be a five waves and still go down let's say if we do a flat from here for whatever reason an expanded fan go down that that is possible because the larger degree view still remains bearish for now so as long as we don't break above this descending trend line here nothing says we have already found the bottom and we're gonna rally and so on nothing says that so for now all everything still points out to for the downside to come and the rally therefore should fail uh, in the sequence of three or seven swing all right so if you do want to get regular updates in the shorter cycle fund the tax or any other indices now there's a lot of comment asking me to do this and that now again uh, the chart of the day is random right it's completely random if you want specific chart specific instrument you can always try our service we have 14 days trial and uh, the link is in the description of the video all right so i'll see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone